like making all the little details known and knocking down every refutable thing, every re possible rebuttal. But life's not always a debate, not always an argument, not always an essay. Sometimes it's you got keep it more simple than it really is. <clears throat> I remember. Yeah, I remember a lot. In fact, I think there was a was that a Cascade song or a Dead Mouse song? Yeah, that's the thing about me. I'm. I remember things. I'm sentimental. I got a freaking box of sentimental stuff. It's a pretty huge box. It's like one of those big moving boxes. But it's. That's maybe a fault. I gotta learn to let go of some stuff. Some things are nice to look back on. Some aren't. But as I was saying, I remember my blog posts from freaking high school. I guess either I was on another level back then or I was really bored or lonely and I was surprisingly more insightful and introspective at my age than maybe I am even now. Oh, this is a nice beach area, but I hope there aren't crabs again. Sometimes I look back and I can't believe, oh wow, I wrote this? I typed this? And of course in 7th grade, 8th grade, I went through a phase where you type with bad grammar or you write shorthand, like you're texting. But eventually I wrote coherent sentences, simple sentences, complex sentences with proper punctuation and capitalization and whatnot. Another thing I learned about Toastmasters is that speeches are like essays. Like they would say, oh, intro, body, details, examples, re rebuttal, conclusion. Features are just like that. They just have varying, different varying in, um, sizes and lengths. You got short five, seven minute speech, and then you got freaking big 40 minute speeches and whatnot. Except for, well, for all both mediums, you gotta keep the audience's attention. You gotta stay engaging and connect and relate to them. I remember lots of speeches, lots of essays, lots of written or verbal things that. I wasn't captivated within the first few sentences or first few, first minute and I just checked out the rest I, every time I tried to pick back up it got boring again so you had to stay captivating relevant engaging I mean you can be technical but it can't be the only thing you are unless it's for the right setting you know you go to some kind of conference you, of course, the speeches will be super technical. But that's a, for a different audience. If it's for like your daily audience, daily Joe Schmo, daily patients, then there's no need to be super technical and use all these terms like this show how smart you are. They know you're smart. They trust you already. I got in trouble for like using too many technical terms. They're, like one PT I work with, he says, just keep it simple. Like, so many things you already know. Sometimes I need a lot of hand holding to figure things out. But at this point, you got, you got to be able to figure it out in yourself. Because I guess that's where math comes in. In the end, it. Huh? About the problem solving, or whatever. It comes back to that. It haunts you, even though you pass algebra, trig, calculus. Huh, I barely pass calculus, but still, it comes back to problem solving, critical thinking, like reasoning, logic. If it's not this, then it could be that. Blah blah blah. It may not be directly related to math or numbers. Like I'm pretty sure I'll never use a derivative or integral ever again in my life but math is applicable in that way if they made math classes like that or at least 
um, something more applicable to real life like taxes and salaries then it would it'd be more engaging like oh I'm sure I'll use the quadratic formula again in my life wow odds are I'll come back to Monterey my aunt's gonna live here there'll be breaks Before I used to be like, oh, I want to see everything at this place, explore every attraction, every site. Well, you explore what you can, and you have a you strap for time, you strap for money, you strap for opportunity. You expect the most of it, the best you can. Just don't waste the opportunity. <laughs> I remember one time we went to Hawaii, and my brother and I spent like half the week in the hotel watching cartoons. But then again, it's justified because it was raining a lot, but still. Now I'm older, I realize I make the most of the opportunity. I, I could be home all, like until school starts. I could be home until and review everything or make, I mean, nothing wrong with making mixes. I mean, I won't be able to make as many mixes when school starts. But at least I know like the songs are organized. It's all there. I can make them whenever I want. I mean, I make them, but I still got to enjoy them. I mean, there's a lot of mixes I made. I only listened to it like once. But it's a good, uh, that's the thing. If you have a creative medium like that, you got a, a tiny portfolio. You can look back, see how much you improve. Oh, some people have artwork, some people have like YouTube videos. Some people, for me, I got my mixes. Different writing styles or books or whatever. Like you see how you improve. Oh, that's how I wrote that, or drew, or thought, like many years ago. You know, I made. I can't believe I made sixty mixes, and it is a stark contrast compared to my first mix. Believe it or not. Hmm. Dang, I'm tempted. Should I go home? But I don't. I'll go home and go to my aunt's house. But it's almost dinner time, but I don't want to. I'm not sure yet. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. We're due for another uh, phone dump. All right, I'm out.